Hello everyone, welcome to uh, this video. Uh, this video will show how you can export uh, Revit schedules from Dynamo but without using any custom package. Uh, before I show you the script, I just want to tell you why I did create this script and also why uh, the script does not uh, have any custom packages. First of all, I would like to mention this add in uh, which is created by Beam1. And I did use this add-in a lot. It was a perfect add-in. It was able to uh, export and import Excel files. But unfortunately, uh, I did so that uh, the last update was uh, on 2021. And that add-in was retired. And I didn't find actually any good replacement. If you know any other uh, add-in which does this job as well, please let me know. So I needed to export a lot of schedule from the model and I did so that this uh, add-in does not longer support Revit 22, 23 and so on. So I also have a constraint that on the company PC uh, for each and every add-in that I would like to install, I need to contact IT support. And it was a long process, so I will probably need to install 10 different add-ins. Uh, then I would need to choose which one uh, we're going to use in the company. And I didn't have enough time to do that. And it will also take some time uh, for IT support to install all those add-ins and to play with that. So naturally, I did come to the uh, idea to create a script that will work good in order to export the schedule. So. I did create my script. I will show you how the script works. So when you run the script, for example, from the Dynamo player, I did create my user interface. So the script does not use the data shapes custom packages. So it is a, a user interface developed in Python. Over here, you can see a list of all schedules that you have in the model. Uh, you can choose one or you can choose if you hold control key, you can choose more than one schedule so for example in first iteration let's go with one schedule so let's go with this electrical equipment that's the first thing second thing is for you to choose a directory where you want to save that schedule so click a tag to choose directory and i will save for example this schedule on the desktop okay and finally i need to click ok so i did just open excel file and it looks like this. So there are a couple of things that I wanted to set and I want it to be the same for each and every schedule that I want to export. First of all, uh, I don't want when I need manually to outfit uh, these columns. So all columns are automatically uh, outfitted. That is the first thing. Second thing is the background of this uh, first row uh, will be light gray color and also text in each and every cell in this first row uh, must be bold and basically that is it uh, it is immediately xls format so it is not a csv then you need to convert it uh, you will not have problems with the comment and for example let's set it build comment So what you have often as a problem with the CSV, you will have a comma separator, then this entire text will break into a couple of columns. Uh, that will not be the case over here. So we can try to export uh, this schedule again, and maybe this one. Now I will run the script again. So I think level 2 HVAC, no, it doesn't matter. We can export all of them category let's go again to the desktop click ok okay let's now open this schedule you can see 12 13 14 with the comma it's not separating the columns and just to cross check this is a level two zone this one again it's outfitted light gray a background and it's bold and basically that is it now i'll go to dino to show you the script so this is the entire script 
uh, we have a node. I will open uh, the code to show you, but just for you to understand, we have a node that will collect all the schedules. Then we have a node that will create user interface. We will took the data. Uh, then we will took what we have as a data from the uh, schedules, and finally we will export those data to Excel. Uh, one note uh, that uh, this uh, Python engine used over here is the Iron Python 2.7. It can work in the Revit 23.24, but you will need to install Iron Python 2.7, or you can convert uh, the code uh, to work with C Python 3 if you want to play a little bit. Uh, so okay, now I will just show you uh, the code. You can pause the video if you want to rewrite it, and if you have any questions, just let me know.